CataractCoach.com, how to recenter a Yamane IOL. So refixation of the IOL and then a cerclage pupilloplasty. And our guest surgeon is Dr. Sarah Bozorg from Maine, USA. So here you can see a patient who had a Yamane already done and already had a full pars plane of vitrectomy. So dissecting out that one tip of the um, IOL haptic, using that small 30 gauge needle to help really externalize that haptic a little bit more. There it is. And remember, this patient had a full parts plane of vitrectomy already. So the good news is you're not going to entangle any vitreous. The bad news is you could drop this IOL on the macula in a second. Now she's using a special marker here to really get the two marks 180 degrees opposite. And you can see she needs to move that haptic over. So she'll cut that bulb off the tip, that little flange, and she's going to make a new entry site using that 30 gauge TSK needle. And this is a technique that she's learned from Steve Saffron, who's a fantastic surgeon. And it's important that you have these two haptics exactly 180 degrees apart in order to prevent this decentration. So now with the new entry site, now she'll externalize the haptic, do a little flange cautery there at the tip, push that in, and now the IOL is much better centered. Beautiful. Very nice technique there. And then push that right into the tunnel. Don't let that nub and flange stick out too much. So now here comes her pupillary cerclage. So nice technique here using long throws, this 10-0 proline looks like, and to achieve about a four millimeter pupil, which would be ideal. And you can see at the end here, that is a beautiful result. So thank you, Dr. Bozog, for a very interesting case. So this is me out in the coast of Maine. I was just there recently. And what a beautiful place. This is one of those lighthouses that's out there. But I want to just tell you something very important about a Yamani technique. If you're going to try this technique, you need to make sure you do a complete and thorough anterior vitrectomy. A lot of these patients who have a Yamani technique, the surgeons sometimes are not doing enough of an anterior vitrectomy. And due to the excessive manipulation and movement of the IOL in the mid vitreous, during externaliz externalization of the haptics, you end up getting vitreous caught in the haptics and they get chronic macular traction and chronic CME. So in this case, luckily, the patient already had a full parts plane of vitrectomy. If you try doing a Yamane technique in a patient, make sure you've really done a very thorough anterior vitrectomy. Use trimestone to stain it to make sure you're not going to have an issue with vitreous entrapment in those haptics and long-term CME. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching these videos. Be sure to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. You'll get the full text and the graphics and the photos plus the videos. And if you sign up for a free daily email, we'll send all of that to you in your inbox every day for free. Come on, cataractcoach.com, check it out.